I hereby declare you both husband and wife in the presence of God and his people. In the name of the Father and of the Son. Say happily ever after is a fairy tale. Only happens in movies and your imagination. Well, whoever said that never met Kelvin. From the moment we met each other at a friend's birthday party, we hit it off. He became my best friend, mentor, Playmate, confidant, and my greatest inspiration. Kelvin made me happier than I could ever imagine, and more loved than I ever thought. The way he looks at me, the way he kisses me, gosh, I was so in love. Whoever said no man has it all has never met Kelvin because Kelvin is every inch a man. To it. If you continue on this path, you're well on your way to winning the prestigious Wife of the Year Award. Well, considering where you took me last night, this is the least I could do. Okay. No way. Hygiene first. Go wash your hands. Come on, baby. Yes, ma'am. She is not a medical doctor or into any medical profession at all. She's just meticulous like that. Happy now? Very happy. Okay. Sit. And no. Making a great meal is not all she could do. Like it? It's delicious. <laughs> mm. Here, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> delicious. She could keep the house neat, I mean sparkling neat and tidy, 
In fact, the easiest way to piss her off is moving things from their original position. As you can see. Okay, let me uh, freshen up. I'll join you shortly. Okay. Babe! Pick that up. I told you, she hates disorder. Or as she calls it, chaos. Where there is disorderliness, there is chaos. Right. Don't forget that. Right. Sometimes I look at my wife and I wonder how God created someone so perfect. She can literally fix anything. Mm -hmm. say she can fix anything, I mean anything. <laughs> uh, listen babe, I wonder why you keep fixing these things. You know I could always get someone to do them. I know. But you also know that I can actually fix these things myself. You're unbelievable. Yes. You can call me Madam Fix-It. No, that's funny. <laughs> you more, Kelvin. What is it? I have a flat tire. Oh my god. It must have been the bad road at Alaba yesterday. I hope I still have my organizer's number. Nonsense. Bring the lever, babe. I'll fix it. Who taught you how to fix a tire? My father was a vulcanizer, remember? Go ahead, I'll do it. Are you being serious right now? I'm being serious. Never been more serious. Baby. Wow, I can't believe you're about to do this right now. Well, watch me do it. I believed I was the luckiest man on earth. Well, you better believe. Oh. This is a no fault divorce. Usually, kids have few bottlenecks in situations like this. But since they are known, it's going to be pretty smooth. So you just sign the dotted lines. And I will take care of the rest. <clears throat> uh, 
I please have a moment with my wife? Okay. It's okay? Excuse me. Peace, what the hell is this? You know what it is, Kelvin. Of course I know what it is. The question is why? We've gone past this, Kelvin, and you know it. No. No, I... I am not, I am not going to sign this. No. Kelvin, you have to sign these papers. This divorce is happening. No, I, I, I refuse to accept this. There has to be something I can do. If I don't accept this, I am not going to sign it. Kelvin, I cannot help you. I am helpless when it comes to your situation. You have to sign these documents. Is there someone else? Because that is the only explanation. That there is someone else in your Just life. Just sign the papers, Kelvin. Sign the papers! There is someone else in your life, peace. Fine. You don't have to sign the papers today. You can sign it whenever you want. That's what you want. Fine. Go. Just go. Go. Get out! I don't need you. I don't freaking need you. I picked you from this form and I made you who you are. And you want to leave me at this Christmas car period. Get out! I hate you! Wow, peace. You're here. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Good. I know you guys are ready. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Take your lap. One. You can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Buckle up. Two. That's it. Three. You can do it. Go, go, go. Come back here. Come back, come back. You're tired already. What's the problem? Huh? Come on, coach. Cut me some slack. You know I just got married. You just got married? Yeah, and my wife. You know her cooking is out of this world. You should taste her egusi soup. Beautiful. So what you're telling me is that you'll be eating a goosey soup every day? <sighs> Coach, is I can't it? help it now. Oh, oh La Liga starts in a monster. Are you are nowhere near fitness? I understand that we have a deal. You've signed a contract. But you cannot, they will not take you except you are medically fit. And I can't see you making it. What's your problem? It's fine, coach. I understand what is expected of me, all right? And I will be ready by the time they want to sign. No, it's not just that. No, I promise you, I'll be ready. Then right? let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Too much money. Let's go. Go. Arsenal, man, you. La Liga. Mm -hmm. Run, 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 baby, run. Too much money will make it. <laughs> let's go. Real Madrid, Manchester City, Chelsea. You are all here. You guys are fit. Let's go. It's okay, it's okay. Mm. <laughs> um, peace. Please come, come, come. Come in, babe. Yes, coach. I need to have a word with you. Is there a problem, coach? Yes, there's a problem. 
Ah, uh, La Liga starts in three months' time. Yeah. And his medicals is in one month. But it's nowhere near fitness. God. I'm sorry to say that I'm disappointed. I don't understand. Nobody's questioning his ability, his, his ability to deliver, his performance. No, he has skills. He's a wonderful player. I've managed players in the past, but he's, a, he's among the best. But the thing is that he's a lazy player. I don't understand. He just mentioned to me now that it's because he's married. Obviously, he enjoys egusi soup. He's been eating a lot of egusi soup. No, that is not healthy for this business. Okay. Um, so, coach, where do I come in? That's a good question. You have a role to play, and a big one. Do you understand? Absolutely. Now, I expect you to place him from today on that strict diet. Strict diet. Diet low in calories. Okay? No fatty food, no excess eating, no frequent eating, just manage his eating habits. And secondly, if you can convince him, I know it's very difficult, being that he's newly married, but convince him to train at least 45 minutes, three times a week. That will help his fitness. Because I can't imagine real <laughs> signing on somebody who is not fit. It is not possible. That is why I'm telling you now, you have a role to play. I've done my part. He's doing his part, but a lot depends on you. And if that is done, I believe his level of fitness will increase. By then we are sure. Okay? Yes. So you go do your homework, please. Right, I don't want coach. to be disappointed. No, you won't be. Well, I will. Do, right? Yes, we do. All right, coach. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, coach. Hey, babe. Let's go. All right, bye, coach. Bye, sir. Thanks, sir. What was that about? Um, nothing serious. Let's get home, okay? You drive. But I'm too tired to drive. Well, I drove you when we were coming, so it's your turn. Let's go. Remember, we have a deal. We have a deal. What, baby? Baby, please, can you explain to me why I'm having shrubs for breakfast? Well, your coach asked me to place you on a good diet. Well, I'm not eating this. I want a proper meal. Babe, you need to be physically fit to perform at your highest level. I am fit. You know that. You've seen what I can do with the ball. Well, your coach is not satisfied. He knows you have the talent, but he thinks that you do not have the discipline to perform at the highest level. I do, I have it. You sweetheart, know. sweetheart, sweetheart. There is no way you can perform at your highest if you're not physically fit. Eat up. Fine. I just know I'm only doing this for you because there's nothing I would do for you. Babe. You're not doing this for me alone. You are doing it for us. Can you imagine? Look at what you're having and look at my own food. 
babe, I'm not the one who is signing up for Real Madrid. Eight up. Please. Sorry, my love. You, you can't just... Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Go. That's the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go, Who's come on, baby. 25 seconds. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yes! You did it, bro. I know. Impressive. I know you can do better than this. Okay? You can do better. I expected 15 seconds. Coach, come on. <laughs> okay, let's try something. Mm. Okay? Good. That's it. Up, 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 up. Good. That's it. That's it. Oh, my boy. Wow. That's a good one. You're impressive. You know, we have like two weeks to go. So hard training for two weeks to get us there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Yes! <laughs> How was that? I think I'm getting better, right? Yes. See, I'm getting better and better. Thank you. You know I enjoy when you come around to watch me train. Mm. It gives me extra motivation. I Your know. travel details is out. No way. Oh my God. Coach, it, it's really happening. Like in three weeks, I am going to be a Real Madrid player. Yes. Oh my God. Um, but then, your training period has changed. To 30 minutes shuttle run, and then one hour ball work. It's very important because we have to get you up to the required standard. Okay? And you, peace. Yes, sir. Please, please, and please again. There's no coming late to train. I understand that, sir. Head that boy. <laughs> Thank you, coach. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, this is crazy. Speed. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then. All right. Bye, Bye coach. coach. All right. Covering your really doing work for yourself, you know. I remember back in the day when we played ball footed for BB. <laughs> How time flies, man. And it tells me. No money to even buy water after the games. Then we would have to walk miles back home after having a very stressful match. But look at you today, man. You're made. If not for alcohol and women, fab hair would have also been made too. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Yeah. I could remember vividly that we all played football together. So what happened to your own career? Hey, hey, I'm still making a toast. Govin, before I was being interrupted, I just want to thank you for not giving up on your dream. Now you're going to be the first Nigerian to play for Real Madrid. And I pray you find joy, success in Spain. Guys, let's do to success. To success. To success. Um. There is one more thing I need to get off my ah. chest. And okay. this goes to you, Calvin. Okay. You know, ever since you got married, you barely spend time with us like you used to. I mean, why? Before now, we used to be three musketeers. Now, without you, we're just two muskets. Come on, guys. Just cut me some slack. I just got married, and my wife needs attention. Plus, you know that I have been drilling like crazy to get back to top form. Is that why you've been distancing yourself from us? Okay, okay, look at you now. You're not even drinking. What are you saying? I'm drinking with you guys. Come on, Come on you're drinking water. Coven, you have really changed. To be honest. Listen, man. Don't even tell me it's about your medicals. Kevin, I know you too well. We've partied all night before and you had a match the next day and <sighs> boom! You scored a hot trick. I mean, Dash should be against Quara United or Canopillas. Kind of, kind of oh, Glad you remembered. So guys, come on. You know you cannot compare the European leagues to our local leagues, yeah? Over there, if you're not in top form, you cannot perform. And if you don't perform, you guys know what happens. Yeah, you have a point there. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, don't worry. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> what's up? I'm good. It's time for your training. Uh, come on, babe. I'm still with the guys. Well, if they want your progress, I'm sure they should be able to understand that. Look, missing one training session would not hurt. Come on. Do you hear what the coach said? You cannot afford to miss one of your trainings. Huh? You need to be physically fit for this challenge. Let's go. They'll be so mad. Let them be. They will understand. Okay? Fine. Let's have a fun, man. Mm. Guys, I... I'm sorry, but I have to go prep for my injury. Let's do this some other time. All right, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> He's not the coven I used to know. I think you should get married too. After you, then me. Other thing. 
Mm. When you love mm. women too much. Mm -mm. Come on, let's drink up so we can be on our way. Maybe yeah. we should go to training today. What do you think? Let me get done with this blood tonic, man. As usual. Mm -hmm. Have fun, nigga. Mm -hmm. seem to like my friends. I don't hate them. But you don't like them either. Why? Babe. Well, I just said I do not hate them. I don't hate them. Babe. That's a lie. You know it. I know it. So talk to me. You should cut them off. Yes. Cut them off? Yes, baby. Cut them off. Listen, I know three of you are close and all, but see, Ortega and Fab do not add value to your life. They don't. <laughs> Babe, th these guys are not just my friends. They're like brothers to me. We practically grew up together. We started this hustle together. For the fact that I've been fortunate enough to make it big doesn't mean I should toss them aside. What kind of human being would that make me? But all they do is drink and smoke. Drink and smoke, that's all they do. And you, on the other hand, you enable them by giving them money. Babe. And listen, I, I, I know that it will be cruel and selfish if you just toss them aside like that. But if you do not cut them off, they will bring you down to their level. I promise you that. Listen, babe. All I want is for you to to succeed, okay? about our conversation yesterday. Kelvin, I don't know why you don't want to listen to me on this one. Look, babe, in a short time from now, we'll be in Spain, all right? Tega, Fab, they are not coming. So you don't have anything to worry about. Come on, babe. In just... A week, we'll be out of the country. Okay. Okay. Um, but I just want you to be careful around them. Please. They are my friends. They won't harm me. I'm not talking about physical harm, Kelvin. It's their influence on you that's my major concern. I promise you it won't happen, okay? But you know it Come is... On, babe. I've told you, you don't have anything to worry about. Please. Okay. Give me a smile. Come on, give me a smile. That's my girl. Let me go get ready. Okay.
going on? Baby! Baby! Hey, Jesus Christ, I'm sorry! I know I'm sorry! Oh my God! Oh my God, I'm so sorry, baby. Does this hurt? Yeah, well, just a little. The impact wasn't that much, so I don't think anything is broken or sprained. Just, oh, thank Jesus. Just, yeah, help me up. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm sorry. It's okay. Look, just, just be careful, all right? Yeah, I will. Let me help you. Ah! Oh my God, baby, what is it? What is it? It's definitely sprained. I can't walk, baby. Come, come, come. Let me help you into the car so we can go to the hospital, please. Please, baby, come, come, come. Okay, just, just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, baby. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what we happened. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. It's okay. I, mean, I just took my eyes off the steering for a while and then that was it. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Sorry, easy. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Get here. I still can't figure out how I got here. Every single thing seems so strange here. Please, somebody tell me how did I get here? Do they hurt here? Just a little. That must be Ortega and Fab. Ortega and Fab? Really? I thought we agreed that nobody would come here till you're fully recovered. No one needs to know about your injury, remember? Babe, they are my friends. I can't keep this from them. Kelvin, I do not like this. Greetings, please. How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm good. Yo. It's so good. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm fine now. Hey. Good vibe. Good to see you, man. I'll be inside. All right, no uh, problems. Um, we started coming as soon as you told us. Would have been here earlier, but traffic was crazy out there. Yeah, that's the truth. A car broke down in the middle of the road. Well, it's it fine. was really crazy. It's fine, it's fine, really. The important thing is that you guys are here now. You know, it's all good. I'm really sorry about your injury. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. So, tell me, how are you feeling now? Well, just slight pain here and there. The doctor says I'll be able to resume light training next week. Mamma mia! Yeah. I knew this was a minor setback. <laughs> well, don't worry, man. You'll bounce back in time for you to do your medicals and your are unveiling out. Hello, Madrid! <laughs> of course, we're a fighter. We have got this. <gasps> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, much. Man. So, what's been going on? Nothing much. Fab, there. You can't do that in here. Or? Like, this is not the first time. We've always done this here. Well, things are different now. Uh, I have a wife, and she doesn't really like the smell of cigarettes in the house. Oh. But you can smoke outside if you want. I see. My bad. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So, let me get you guys something to drink. Something soft. Oh? What? No, 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 no. I'm not in for anything no. soft. No, no try, Amo. I, I like it hard, you know? Make it too hard. More soft, no. It's good. He's married, he can't smoke here, man. You wouldn't tolerate that in your house, no? Thank you. 
are you are you mad at me for inviting or taking part? Look, babe, don't say anything to anyone about the injury. You're worrying over nothing. Because all of this is my fault. You know, the injury, the accident, everything. Stop, Stop saying nonsense. It wasn't your fault. It was a mistake. Look, in a few days I'll be fine. Look, I, I know that you're worried about my career and the deal with the club. But I'll be fine before then, okay? Stop worrying. We have bread and egg. The egg is nicely fried, just as you would like it. And um, they bless the food for us. Oh. Okay, uh, if you won't do it, then I will. Heavenly Father, bless this food we're about to eat. I pray that it nourishes us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. to me in almost two days. What is wrong, Kelvin? Are you okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? My entire world has come crashing down. All my dreams, my aspirations gone with the wind. My heart is 
torn away and with it's the very essence of who I am and you sit here and ask me if I am okay. Yeah, you know it's always fun being with Kevin. <laughs> all the time, all the time. That guy is so fun to be with. I don't know what's still holding this cab man. He's supposed to be here by now. My brother, let's just give him some time. Let's we'll see how it some goes. Some time? Eh? What's going on? Hello? My husband is going through a lot of emotional stress right now. And it is your responsibility as his friends to bring him out of it. You know, to, to, to help him out of this, this, this distress. But what are you both doing? You are dragging him into your world of alcohol and drugs. What sort of friends are you? What have you done wrong to warrant to talk to us in this manner, madam? We're not trying to cheer up our friend and nothing more to that. He is not your friend. He's not your friend. What? Yes. You both are false friends. Yes, that is what you are. Shame. Shame! Shame on you both! Mamma mia! Are you being serious right now? Ever since we were kids, all we've ever wanted was for Kevin to succeed. Because he was the most talented out of the three of us. He would have been playing in Europe. A dream that almost came true until you ran him over with your car. So and I ask you, who is the real enemy here? How did I get here? I still can't figure out how I got here. Every single thing seems so strange here. Please somebody tell me how did I get here? Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be. I've just realized I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth and I found Baby. it in you. You truly care. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know, I, I know I was careless. But if I hadn't hit you with the car, this whole thing wouldn't have happened in the first place. I'm so sorry. to sleep in peace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry. Please, where are you going? Baby, I'm sorry. I mean it. I'm sorry.
gets here I still can't figure out how I got here Every single thing seems so strange here Please somebody tell me how did I get here Now I realize the kind of man you've always want me to be I've just realized I shouldn't be here I finally found the truth and I found it in you You truly cared for me so sincerely You told me you love me, I didn't understand You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand Sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear Now I realize the kind of man you've always want me to be I've just figured out I shouldn't be here I finally found the truth and I found it in you You truly cared for me so sincerely Told me. When you told me you loved me, I didn't understand. You said I should be careful. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand. And my heart tried to tell me. My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand. And sometimes, sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear. Now I realize. Now I realize yes. the kind of man yes. you always want me to be. I've just figured out. Figured out. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth. Yes. And I found it in you. I found the right truth in you. You truly cared for me. So sincere. Told me you love me, now I understand. You say you love me. You said you love me, I understand. Please keep the past behind. Keep the past behind, now I understand. You told me you love me, now I understand. Now I understand, and now I see clearly. I love you, my baby.
I left something in here. Where is it? Peace, this is not the time to not speak. Drugs? Really? Kevin, when did this start? No, I'm asking you, when did it start? This is not the kind of life I signed up for. Where is it? I am not going to ask you again. Flushed it down the toilet. Listen, Kelvin, I will not sit here and want to throw your life away because... Jesus. Kelvin. You stop! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Are, 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 are you mad? Is something wrong with you? After you tried to cripple me, you succeeded in chasing my friends away. Now they're gone. And now you're throwing away my prescription pills. Are you, did they send you to ruin my life? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kelvin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When I got married to Kelvin, I made a commitment. A sacred vow to have and to hold. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death. <laughs> but hearts and vows get broken every day. My marriage was characterized by pure love joy and romance but now day after day he wouldn't talk to me i was almost invincible to him as he smoked and drank with his friends while i took care of everything around him he stopped paying attention to me except when he wants sex i'm not a piece of meat or a maid and now it has gotten to physical assault. What's going on here and where are you going? Marriage vows are sacred. We are meant to keep them when we speak them. It's a tragedy that so many of these vows are considered to be optional, then pushed to the side to be forgotten before long. Marriage vows are not to be cherry-picked, so we select the ones that are convenient and appealing to us. It's not fair that I constantly get Kelvin's bad attitude when I deserve his devotion and best effort. Just because I pledged to be with him until death doesn't mean I should be taken for granted or get beaten like a slave. Marriage should be a blissful connection, not a death sentence.
grief is a natural reaction to the loss of a loved one. My beloved wife is gone and I found myself going through different stages of grief. First, it was denial. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Good to see you too, man. Come on, come on, come on. Sit on my leg. Yeah, come on. Come here. That's how we were, baby. Who comes from this? Come on, man. Let me. Let me have like oh. that's a strong thing. That's my nigga. Let's cut some pork. That shit. That's how we rule. You know, it's like it hard. That's how we rule. I'm up for this shit. We got the ladies. <laughs> Don't forget the Abu Khor, right? Come on, history, you know. This carbon, it makes things happen. You know? Let's cut some fun. Mmm. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Let me get you for myself. Just chill. Hmm? Don't stress yourself. You know what I mean. Hmm? I'm gonna take good care of you. Right? Come on, man. Let's do the combo. Let's do the combo. You know what I mean. Oh. Yeah. Now the mission is complete. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Mmm. Hey. Are you seeing it from behind? How are you feeling, nigga? Hey. Look at that, look at that. Ooh. Otega and Fab were always around. A lot of alcohol and drugs kept my mind off peace. But that came with a steep price. It cost me my physical fitness and my financial freedom. I went broke within one week. Without the money for alcohol and drugs, Ortega and Fab disappeared as quickly as they came. With my wife, friends and money all gone, my grief entered two final stages, anger and acceptance in quick succession. 
When you told me you loved me, I didn't understand. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand. My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand. Sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear. Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be. I've just figured out I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth and I found it in you. I'm sorry, but I have clients I need to attend to. If you don't mind. Please tell me, how did I get here? I still can't figure out how I got here. Every single thing seems so strange here. Please somebody tell me how did I get here? I was at rock bottom. No, not rock bottom. There was rock bottom, then 50 feet of crap, and then there was me. My world has fallen apart for real this time. But then something happened. I could not tell if this event was orchestrated divinely by God or if it was just a random event. But one thing was clear. It had a profound effect in my mind. Please somebody tell me how did I get here? Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be. I've just realized I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth and I found it in you. You truly cared for me so sincerely. When you told me you love me, I didn't understand. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand. Unfortunately, failure and setbacks are part of every person's journey through this life. No way around it. You must go through it. I am experiencing a personal setback, but that does not mean I am forever doomed to live out my life in penury and defeat. I realize that my setback is where I am at this time and not where I will always be. told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand. My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand. Sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear. Now I've realized the kind of man you've always wanted me to be. I've just figured out I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth and I found it in you. You truly cared for me so sincerely. I finally found the truth and I found it in you. You truly care for me so sincerely. Life isn't meant to be easy. It's meant to be lived. So 
sometimes happy, other times rough. I have experienced sadness and failure. But just like that little girl, I will pick myself back up. I needed to get signed to a club. But for that to happen, I have to be in top condition physically. And of course, I had to pray and hope the club comes along. Do I want peace back? Of course I do. But I think I have done an irreparable damage by hurting her both physically and emotionally. If letting her go will bring her peace, then I am willing to do that and suffer the consequences for the rest of my life. When you told me you loved me, I didn't understand. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand Sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear Now I realize the kind of man you've always want me to be I've just figured out I shouldn't be here I finally found the truth and I found it in you You truly cared for me so sincerely I finally found the truth and I found it in you you truly care for me so sincerely. Please tell me, how did I get here? I still can't figure out how I got here. Every single thing seems so strange here. Please somebody tell me how did I get here Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be I've just Wow, coach. Mr. Kevin, how are you? Very wow, well, thank you, welcome Peace. This place looks so lonely How are you? Very well, thank you mm. uh, Getting by so, how have you been holding on? Well, I'm doing my best. Thank you very much. Can I offer you anything? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm on my way to training, so I thought I could stop by and just see you. Thank you, sir. Hmm? Thank you. So, what's up? Uh, uh, all good. I got this email yesterday night and printed it out for you. FC England. Yeah, I know it's not exactly what you wanted. It's not the Real Madrid or one of the top clubs in Europe. But given what happened, uh, I think it's a good start. What do you say? I'll accept the offer. Wow! <laughs> Mr. Kevin, thank you. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Wow. So, just get ready, eh? So, I'll be on my way then. Thank you. I know you miss her. Of course. 
unfortunately she she wants a divorce I already signed the papers I will send it to her lawyer tomorrow tell me Kelvin is that what you want is that what she wants no it's not I don't think so sit down Kelvin It's not what she wants. This is because she has not seen the new you. Which is the real you. You have to give her a reason. The reason why she married you in the first place and the first time. See, you have to be a man. I know you are. Brave it up. Swallow your pride. Go to her. Talk sense. And to her, she needs just one thing. Simple thing. She just wants to hear from the bottom of your heart that you love her. That's it. So brave it up. Go to her. Like I said, swallow your pride. PMA. She loves you. Take care of yourself. Remember, in two weeks' time. When you told me you love me, I didn't understand. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand Sometimes loving me is quite a cross to bear Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be I've just figured out I shouldn't be here I finally found the truth and I found it in you Hi Hi Um, have you signed the papers? I guess we're done here. Peace, sweet. Kelvin, what is it? Peace. I cannot stop thinking about all the pain that I caused you in the last few months of our marriage. I was very awful to you and you did not deserve it. I know that I pushed you to the points where you felt like you didn't have any other choice than to leave the marriage. And I was very stupid to have let you go. I had a setback and I blamed you for it. Took it out on you and it was unfair for me to do that. Look, I just hope that someday you will find it in your heart to forgive me and come back to me because you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Please tell me. I get here. I'm sorry. And I love you. I still Always. can't figure out how I got here. Every single thing seems so strange here. Please, somebody tell me how did I get here? Now I realize the kind of man you've always wanted me to be. I've just realized I shouldn't be here. I finally found the truth and I found it in you. You 
truly cared for me so sincerely. When you told me you loved me, I didn't understand. You told me to be careful, I still couldn't understand. My heart tried to tell me I wouldn't understand.